and welcome back. This is a piece of red oak barrel. Um, came from the same as the other one with the brown epoxy. His last two bowls have actually been me finally getting around to turning this stuff. Two of those are for his because the barrel was a massive. And go ahead and roast me on the American Eagle shirt. I got that thing when I was 23 and I'm dang proud I can still fit into it at almost 40 years old and a dad. The epoxy that I'm using is the Aluminolite Amazing Clear, which is one to one by um, volume, not the one to one by uh, weight like the Clear Slow. I went with Amazing Clear because it's thicker, and since I knew these voids weren't very big, um, I wouldn't get a whole lot of swirl out of the Clear Slow because it, it gives much better thermals in large pieces. And since the Amazing Clear is thick, it doesn't want to move a lot and you'll see when I'm pouring it that I'm kind of layering it so there's different zones of epoxy in other words because it won't move too too much um, in small spaces Welcome back. So, you saw me pour in this thing. This thing came out nice. And that was flashing that I used on the sides and it didn't stick. It wanted to, but you could probably use some um, mold release and won't have any problems at all. The problem I had was, is I broke off the other screws. So I had to drill them out and I went back and filled it with some clear, uh, amazing clear, just so when I screwed in between here, there wouldn't be a hollow. It'd have some kind of structure or stability to it.
anytime I'm turning burl or whatever, um, you might as well just figure in you're going to need some CA glue. And this is the Starbond Black Medium, and you'll get little pieces of bark that you couldn't get dug out or something like that will be inside of them and you'll need to get it out. And you'll also see it a lot of the times when I'm sanding that I'm using the whole sheet. Um, I really like to feel the surface whenever I'm sanding it to see for high spots or any ridges that I can work out by hand a little bit more. It really gives you a hands-on feel of how it's going to feel in somebody's hand. I'm used to me using Mylons a lot, and especially when I'm using general finishes, wood bowl finish. Make sure that you put down a good seal um, before you start applying the wood bowl finish because it reduces the soak in coat, your first coat, maybe your second coat, depending on how porous the wood is. Um, what I found using the Mylons, it reduces building that gloss down to just three coats versus before when I was having to do, when I wasn't using Mylons, I was having to take five, six coats um, just to be able to get it to build up to a gloss. I actually had to use the hollowing system on this one just because it was so deep and narrow. Um, I didn't have a tool rest that would allow me to get further back in there for using a carbide, so I just used the hollowing system and cored it out with a two inch Forstner bit. And just checking the bottom of the calipers to see how thick it was. Um, I found that if you make a mortise and you make it a little bit bigger so that you're um, caliper can get in there. If you're using a mortise, you can slip it between your jaws and really hit the bottom just to see how you are, how deep you are truly. And also with this one I had to hand sand it, there was just no way I could get that drill in there. And I just like that. Just so when you just whatever. And luckily you can catch it coming out. So that's why I'm using a piece of um, foam pad or my sandpaper just to get in there and sand it. Would no other way to get that thing sanded.
recommend like to use steel wool after apply the mylons. If you have any kind of um, heavy spots, any kind of runs or whatever, just from wiping it off, the steel wool will get it all nice and smooth for you. Um, that way, whatever finish you apply to it, like that wood bolt finish, you don't have any kind of imperfections on the surface. In which I didn't record that part, but I will post a link up top for the how to apply the wood bolt finish or how I do it. Anyway, thanks for watching.